1968. You know, the most savvy people in our area as far as severe weather can still live in Saluda County. And there's a reason. Because in 1968, and go to, right now, go to the Kroger over in Wheelersburg, or go anywhere in Saluda County, and you will hear stories of the 1968 tornado that came from South Shore through Wheelersburg and died in Rio Grande, Ohio. Yeah. You'll hear about it. They know. They've been through it before. It's a legacy. Further to the east, there's more steep terrain. It's more rolling hills in Saluda over toward, for example, West Liberty and Morgan County. And the rolling hills oftentimes do not disturb the uh, possibility of tornadoes forming. East toward Huntington and Charleston, the hills are much more jagged, they get steeper, and tornadoes, oftentimes, the circulation that would produce a tornado, right. tends to spin down. And that's what we've seen so many times over the years. Yeah, the Scioto County Storm Chasers is a group that uh, they constantly send us in weather pictures all the time, and I'm sure they they give you updates just like they give us in the newsroom. And that's one group there, and that's part of that legacy that you're talking about. It, you know, it's experience that they've had. Well, Chris here, and he's one of the big... Uh, Storm Chasers in Scioto County, he, he sends out emails all the time, so we're keeping a close in touch with him because uh, if there's severe weather in the form of a tornado, I guarantee you Greg knows about it. All right, hey, thanks, Tony. And we, uh, we have some pictures of some damage that's in